Hi everyone, so uh, in this video I'm going to be discussing about parallelograms. Uh, first of all, a parallelogram is defined by having um, uh, opposite, uh, opposite sides parallel. I'm trying to draw one here right now. So here we have a parallelogram. Uh, so it has four, four sides and uh, two of them uh, each pair is parallel to to the other. So uh, once once you were once we were able to state in class that the shape the the quadrilateral was a parallelogram, uh, then the 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 figure the polygon uh, had certain properties, and the, and those are the ones that are enlisted here. Uh, so uh, basically here. Um, when you have a parallelogram, opposite angles, uh, so let's mark the opposite angles here, are going to be congruent. At the same time, uh, well, let me uh, mark the other two. At the same time, opposite sides will be congruent. So this, these two will be congruent to each other, and uh, these two will be congruent to each other. Uh, consecutive angles, uh, meaning, uh, uh, so these two here are basically next to each other, or perhaps uh, the bottom one with the top one, uh, uh, those are supplementary, meaning that they add up, they add up to 180 degrees. Uh, and of course, if you happen to have one right angle, then the rest are um, right angles. And if we happen to have um, a, a diagonal, let me trace uh, first a, a diagonal here. I'm, uh, well, I used the highlighter. That's a big oops. Uh, let me use green. Uh, so uh, if you have a diagonal, let me select it now. So if we have a diagonal, it forms two congruent triangles. And that's the, the bottom statement here. Well, that's unfortunate. Calling now. Uh, and then uh, I lost my train of, of thought. Oh, yeah. I have one diagonal, so I'm going to trace now the other. And... Uh, once you trace it, uh, well, that's the 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 second the, the previous statement here that uh, they're gonna bisect each other, so they're gonna uh, meet at the end point, uh, the midpoint here. So those were the properties of parallelograms, uh, and as we move on, we start exploring more parallelograms, but now we start uh, classifying them. By, by more properties that are a little bit more specific. So the first one that, that we're going to study is the rhombus. And the rhombus uh, is going to be a parallelogram with four congruent sides. And, and that's going to be important there. So four congruent sides. So every single side here in this shape, every single side is going to be... Uh, is going to be congruent. So this side and this one, this one here and this one are all congruent. Actually, let me mark them off. So this here is congruent to this one, this one, and this one. So uh, that's a rhombus, a parallelogram with four congruent sides. Uh, of course, it's going to inherit all of the previous properties that we just enlisted because it's a parallelogram. Uh, but it's going to have a little bit more. And we're going to go into that in class. Uh, but for now, by definition, four congruent sides. Parallelogram with four congruent sides. As we move on, we're going to start uh, looking at the rectangle. And the rectangle is going to be a parallelogram with four uh, congruent angles or, or uh, four right angles. Uh, 
And uh, here, the example is not the complete phone. Notice that the phone has curves that wouldn't even apply as a polygon. Uh, but if you look at the screen, it's, it's a, it has the shape of rectangle. And uh, I'm going to mark off the, the angles here. So this one, this one here, this one here, he has battery full. And this one here are all right angles. So uh, there you see uh, uh, two applications of, uh, or two, two places where you might find uh, rectangles. Of course, I'm pretty sure that if you start looking around, uh, you're going to find a lot of rectangles. Uh, and rhombus maybe uh, the rhombus you might find uh, on clothing or st or or some uh, something with patterns, um, or a baseball park. So I'm gonna start showing now a, a pretty common Venn diagram. Uh, you might find it in many books, um, and uh, this basically summarizes uh, all the parallelograms that that we that that you just saw. And it, it basically defines the last one. So you see, to the left, we have rectangles. And uh, re rectangles, again, have four right angles. That's the important part here. Uh, then uh, when you move on to a rhombus, a rhombi for plural, uh, it has four congruent sides. So uh, here you see that uh, once you combine both of them, the intersection here is the figure that we know as the square. So it has four right angles and at the same time four congruent sides. And uh, that's that. That's basically it for, for all parallelograms. Later on we're going to study in class more properties, uh, implications that we might find uh, um, regarding the, the, the diagram, diagrams and uh, uh, a little bit of these shapes in the coordinate plane.